بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمده و نصلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد Dear viewers, Rehem TV brings to you this new program, Tafsir series. This program is for all ages. This program would help you understand the basic translation of the Quran. It would make you understand the detailed Tafsir and the wisdom of the Quran and it would also teach you how to bring the Barakah of the Quran in your lives. For this reason, we have divided this program in three main segments. In the first segment, we'll talk about some basic translation that everyone can understand by spending very little time. In the second segment, we'll go in more detail and we'll talk about the detailed description, the tafsir and the wisdom behind it. And in the third segment, we'll talk about how to use this Quran to bring barakah in our lives. What are the fazail, what are the barakat of this Quran and how it can help us in our day-to-day -day life. So the first question first, why should I learn tafsir? I am a student going to school, I am a 10th grader, I am a college student, I, just, I work business, I am doing perfectly fine in my lifestyle. Why should I even spend time in learning the tafsir? So dear brothers and sisters, no matter what age you are in, no matter what walk of life you are in, this Quran is a book of guidance and it's going to teach you the purpose of your life. Man has always wondered what is the purpose of his life. He always asked this question from the nature, from the people around him, that where did he come from? What was his origins? Where is he going to go after he dies? And how much time and how he is supposed to live the life in between? Where he came from? What is his mabda? The Arabic word for this would be mabda. What is, where is he going to go after he dies? What is his ma'ad? And how is he going to live his life in the middle? What is his going to be the mi'ad? So mabda, mi'ad and ma'ad, these are the three basic questions the man has always been looking answers for. Once you know these three main answers, then you can define your life so that you can benefit from it. You can understand the purpose of your life. So this purpose of life that can guarantee you success is called guidance. Such a lifestyle, such an ideology and the way of life that would make you fearless about your future, that can protect you from any kinds of regrets of the past, is called guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ These people who have guided themselves, لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ They do not fear the future. وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ and they do not regret their past. So is it not a good lifestyle that everyone wants to have? Even if you are a college student, even if you are a school-going school student, even if you are a businessman, even if you are an IT specialist, no matter what walk of life you are in, you all want this successful way of life. So for that reason, answers are given in the Quran. We want to make ourselves a better person. We have to change our lives to become better, and it's an everyday struggle. What else could be a means of guiding us besides Qur'an? Because Qur'an is the final word of wisdom, is the final word of guidance to the mankind from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should spend time in our everyday schedule. We should bring some, have some time for the Qur'an in our everyday schedule so that we can get the barakah of the Qur'an by understanding it, by reflecting upon it. So this is the reason that everybody should be interested in this program and everybody should benefit from this program. So this is the program about tafsir. A lot of you might be thinking, what is this tafsir? What does tafsir mean? For some of you, this might be a brand new word. I went to a place, they said, and I taught tafsir in that masjid. And this, some of the brothers, they came up to me and they said, up until now, I never knew the difference between tajweed and tafsir. And these are the brothers who are 50 years, 60 years in age. So what is this tafsir? Tafsir is an Arabic word which means explanation. It has three basic letters, fa, sin, ra, fa, sin, ra. And any Arabic word that has these three basic letters, fa, sin, ra, in any order, the meaning of that would be to explain, to explore. 
you know, another word that has fa seen in ra is safar, traveling. Safara, safar. Safar also has an underlying meaning of exploration. When you travel, you explore. You go to different parts of the world, you explore, you learn. When you travel with someone, you explore about them, so about those people that you are traveling with. So fa, seen, ra is always have the meaning of exploration, to learn, to detail uh, the explanation. So when we talk about the tafsir of the Quran, we are going to learn the explanation and the interpretations of the the divine saying. So may Allah subhanahu wa taala give us tawfiq to benefit from these lessons as and bring uh, and so that we can bring them in our lives so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the help and the tawfiq nas'alullahu at-tawfiq wal aun wa alayhi at-tawakkul we ask Allah for the tawfiq and we ask for his help wa alayhi at-tawakkul and upon him we put our trust so dear viewers we'll come back after this little break and we'll talk about the first surah of the Quran <laughs>